Hello and welcome to the Drishti IAS to the point program. Our today's topic is net zero emissions. First of all, we'll see why this is in news. Just days ahead of the climate change conference or COP26 at Glasgow in Scotland, Australia has announced that it will achieve net zero emissions by the year 2050. Now let's understand the meaning of net zero emissions. It refers to achieving an overall balance between greenhouse gas emissions produced and greenhouse gas emissions taken out of the atmosphere. First, human caused emissions should be reduced as close to zero as possible. Second, any remaining GHGs should be balanced with an equivalent amount of carbon removal, for example, by restoring forests. The time frame for reaching net zero emissions differs significantly if one is referring to CO2 alone or referring to all major GHGs including methane, nitrous oxide and HFCs. For non-CO2 emissions, the net zero date is later because some of these emissions such as methane from agricultural sources are somewhat more difficult to phase out. In scenarios that limit warming to 1.5 degrees Celsius, carbon dioxide or CO2 reaches net zero on average by 2050. Total GHG emissions reach net zero between 2063 and 2068. Now let's have a look on Indian scenario. India's per capita CO2 emissions at 1.5 tons per person in 2015 are around a ninth of those in the USA and around a third of the global average of 4.8 tons per person. However, overall India is now the planet's third largest emitter of CO2 behind China and the USA. There's global pressure on India to commit net zero emissions by 2050. On one hand, few argue that India should pledge to reduce its net emissions to zero by 2050, backed by a climate law. This will make India hyper-competitive, attract investment, and create jobs. While on the other hand, there is a long-standing principle of common but differentiated responsibility that requires richer countries to lead and argue against any pledge that risks prematurely limiting Indian energy use for development. With reference to net zero emissions consider the following statements statement 1 it refers to achieving zero net carbon emission in the atmosphere statement 2 india has committed to achieve net zero emissions by 2050 which of the statements given above is are correct options are a one only b two only c both one and two or d neither one nor two Don't forget to answer the question in the comment section and stay tuned for the next session. Till then, Jai Hind. Dear viewers, to watch this topic in Hindi, please visit our Hindi YouTube channel.